Hello guys, um, I'm Max GFX. I hope you guys are having a good um, midweek. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create something simple. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a, a golden emboss and um, bevel effect um, using Photoshop. And today I'm going to be working with Photoshop CC19. So let's just get started. I'm going to be working with uh, 1000 by 1000 pixels let's go so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select um, I'm going to click the test I'm going to be working with okay let's just um, write something simple bevel okay oh, there's a mistake over there So I'm going to go with this something simple. Okay. Bevels. Okay, let's just okay. Select. I'm going to be using for my fonts. I'm going to be going with Go Bold. Okay. I think this will give it a better feel. Okay, increase this this sales bevels align this right here okay so I'm going to duplicate this and under I'm gonna write emboss So, I'm going to place this at the center too. Okay. Control. I'm going to bring this down a bit. Okay. Duplicate. Bevel and emboss. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group these three tests together. Control G. Okay, and I'm going to align this one so get to the middle. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to raise this so that I can adjust. Um, I can actually um, warp it. Okay, let's get it on with. Okay, Control T. Okay, because of um, okay, I have uh, I have a solution to that. Convert to smart object. Control T. Okay, I'll begin with um, bulge. But I'm going to be reducing this. Okay. As you can see, this is already looking tech. I don't seem to notice why I always say that in all my videos. Like, I've tried to actually say something different, but I see myself saying the same thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to apply the effect which I was talking about. I'm going to um, be using the bevel and emboss filter um, using um, Photoshop. 
to actually make this look good so you guys should just um, watch closely and pay attention to what I'll be doing from now so that you can actually learn from this okay guys so I'll right click go to my blending options I better take this to the side so you guys can see the effect that I'll be adding to this so you guys as I'm doing this you push pay attention to these areas where I'll be making the changes to actually notice what I'll be doing okay but first of all let me change our image to another color because I noticed that using black and white using a black um test will actually make um what i'm doing not to be seen so let's head over to color overlay no i won't be using yellow okay let's go with red something light okay so back to the bevel and emboss so these are just pay attention to my figures guys uh, because um, that's what I'm going to be achieving so just pay attention uh, for the depths I'm gonna be going with 1000 um, okay. for my size I think I'm gonna be okay let me look for something suitable okay let me bring that down to seven okay My multiply my overpass okay okay as you can see this is already looking sharp but I'm gonna be adding some more effects to this um, I'll leave my technique as smooth but I'm gonna make my style uh, to be embossed then I'm gonna make it down okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add texture to this I'm gonna add texture to this and I'll bring it I don't want that to actually be too much. Okay. Okay, I'm okay with this. As you can see, guys, this is just it. And I was able to create this effect. So, first thing I'm going to be doing, guys, that I'm going to be adding um, a, uh, a golden color to it. And by this, I'm going to actually place an image I got from the internet. I'll be leaving the link to my Google Drive where I'll be dropping all these images so that you guys can download it. You know how we do it now. <laughs> okay, I'll go to my um, desktop. Okay. So this is the image I'm going to be using. So let's just give it a little time so that it will show. Okay, so I'm gonna actually make this um, image bigger. Then I'm going to create a clipping mask. As you can see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna create a, a clipping mask. Then I'm gonna select both of these convert it to smart object the reason why I'm actually converting this to a smart object is that um, um, I noticed that once I zoom in it tends to become a little bit uh, blurry I noticed on the effect that once I zoom in it becomes a little bit blurry so that's why I created the um, uh, a clipping max so I've noticed it uh, both on Photoshop um, C uh, CC 20 and also on CC 19 so I think I don't I'm not sure I'm not sure where the problem is from whether it's from my my system or it's from anywhere but guys this is just it 
the so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually change this to a black background so you guys can see what I what it actually looks like and as you can see that I, this is just it this is looking nice and it's just easy to do it's just easy to do guys if you really try this you notice that it's very very easy it's very very easy to do okay so I'm just gonna be adding a little bit texture to the background to actually make it look uh, this is not actually less session right? i just wanted to do this so so here guys is actually what i achieved and you can also achieve this too i'll be dropping um the images right here um, uh the description and guys um in case if you enjoyed this video in case if you learned something new don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe if you're